came across a review article titled Omega-3 Fatty Acids and Arrhythmias in Circulation, which was quite interesting to read. Icosapentenoic acid and docosahexanoic acid are the primary omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids which have been studied extensively. They have beneficial effects in ischemic heart disease. But their role in cardiac arrhythmias is not that well established. Reduce It was a landmark trial which evaluated patients with elevated triglyceride levels despite the use of statins. The trial showed that risk of ischemic events including cardiovascular death was significantly lower among those who received icosopent ethyl compared to placebo. Icosapent ethyl is a highly purified synthetic EPA. But a larger percentage of patients in the icosopent ethyl group compared to placebo were hospitalized with atrial fibrillation or flutter. 3.1% versus 2.1% P0.004 raising concerns of proarrhythmic effects of icosopent ethyl. A systematic review and meta-analysis evaluated the role of long-term marine omega-3 fatty acid supplementation on the risk of atrial fibrillation in randomized control trials. They concluded that marine omega-3 fatty acid supplementation was associated with an increased risk of atrial fibrillation. The risk appeared to be greater in trials testing more than 1 gram per day. Initial animal studies suggested that omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids have a role in prevention of sudden cardiac death after acute myocardial infarction. In that context, mechanism of arrhythmic death is polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. This is unlike the scar-related monomorphic ventricular tachycardia which occurs at a later stage. But clinical trials invoking this concept led to a null result though initial epidemiological data had shown a beneficial effect in reducing sudden cardiac death 